Hello there and welcome to Hot Off The Press. I'm Dan Vose and this week we'll be looking into how people are helping to raise money for Sport Relief and why it is such a worthy cause. Also I'll be joined later by Rosie Steele who has done the Sport Relief Mile last year and intends to do it all again this year. £50 could pay for 10 sick street children in Tanzania to visit a doctor and get the medical treatment they need. Now, since 2004, the Sport Relief Mile was introduced to give the campaign a focus for an event that's open to everyone. Every year, people try to come up with different ideas to raise some cash. For instance, this year, the Sport Relief t-shirts have been exclusively designed by the whole Beckham family and are available exclusively in store at Sainsbury's, TK Maxx and from the online shop at sportrelief.com forward slash shop. What's more, seven celebrities have successfully cycled the length of the UK. They did it in 82 hours straight, so well done to them, hard challenge. Find out how much they raise on the Sport Relief Night on TV this Friday, 19th of March. Also, it was Robbie Williams' turn for the Sport Relief single. Robbie said he's absolutely delighted that Morning Sun will be this year's official Sport Relief single. I've seen firsthand the sort of good work that the money raised will fund, so it's an honour to be involved and donate the profits to them, he said. Every year, some celebrities take up a challenge to raise money. Last year, a group of daring celebrities climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. This year, TV personality Christine Bleakley will be attempting to water ski across the channel. This means she'll have to stay afloat on her skis for an average speed of 20 miles per hour for 21 miles. Sounds easy? It's really not. It does indeed sound like a good challenge, so good luck, Christine. If you'd like to support Christine or donate money for Sport Relief, go on to the Sport Relief website. For more details, sportrelief.com. Well, that's all we have time for on Hot Off The Press. Join us next week, but for now, goodbye.